as promised, I am going to share how I make um, my chicken and egg drop soup. I love your bit much. Somehow I blinked and my fur babies became elderly fur babies. And while it is very bittersweet, I'm also very thankful for the years that we've had so far. They've been here for me through my highs and lows. Loyal, always there to give me cuddles, always making me laugh. And now that they're in their silver years, they need even more care and attention than ever. Getting gray. If I could bring my dogs with me wherever I go, I really would. But unfortunately, there are just moments of the day where, you know, I just cannot be by their side because school runs, errands, and whatnot. Therefore, I'm delighted to share a new home gadget with you all. I love my iMal camera. Even when I'm not at home, I can still keep an eye on them to make sure that they're okay. Usually, they're in my living room waiting for me to come home, guarding the windows, barking at whoever crosses by. I love the practicality sense, but it's actually really fun and cute looking at the footage as well. Even for myself, I have to say setting up is super easy. You simply plug it in, and then you download the iMal Life app and connect to your Wi-Fi and then you're pretty much ready to go. This room where I'm at is usually where the dogs chill just because they can look outside. I decided to pop at the corner of my room so I can see the full view on my couches where they usually hang out but I can also see the front door entrance and into my hallway. Well these days Chubby really likes to have her own space so these days even at night she will just happily chill downstairs in the living room so it's kind of nice that I can still check up on her and make sure she's okay even in the dark. I can also say as someone that's usually home alone with the kids, this camera comes in really handy for checking up on the kids as well. I don't have to yell for them to go upstairs. I can just calmly speak from the presence of my bedroom. Hey mom, having a change? Also appreciate it has a privacy mode which means there's no recording, no live streaming until this mode is disabled. I absolutely love the high resolution output that it gives. I can choose all the way from 480 pixels all the way to 5 megapixels while still getting 360 degrees panoramic view. So you can see the camera is all the way over there. Absolutely crazy. How clear it is! Hello! What's also handy is that they have a pet slash human uh, detection configuration where you will be notified in real time with alerts if they detect any unusual movement or sign like a baby crying and for this reason it works wonderful as a baby or pet monitor or even for security reasons. And lastly, if you're someone out there that likes to go through and see footage, there are also flexible storage options. Now, if you guys are interested in having an iMal camera in your home, feel free to click the link in my description box to check out more of the products. The kids are picked up, uploaded a vlog, and I am just about finishing processing your orders. I'm really excited to run a bath and read my books, my new books. Basically every time I do a workout, I'll post um, one of the circuits to Kyle and he is able to see my form and tell me what is good and what is bad. You want to make this slightly more difficult come up three quarters away Lindy so come up to here okay so the knees aren't locked out bum still back come up there and then go down for the next repetition and don't lock out at all okay. okay but if you're not doing it correctly like where your form is not right the workout just won't be as effective basically so this one right here he's basically saying instead of putting my leg up high which I thought I should be it should be more like this way it's more challenging and then I want you to do is get your chest up and pause for one to two seconds and then push yourself back up. Great. Perfect. Well, Kyle has sent a workout for me to do today. Every single circuit, um, each exercise, he demonstrates. There's him and his wife.
my steam mop broke. It was my fault. I put like Dettol into the little container. Yeah, you're just supposed to put water, so I broke it. But I still, I couldn't believe how expensive the steam mop is these days for whatever reason. So I got another one. This is a different brand. It's cheaper. It seems to have good reviews. So hopefully it does the job. It mop my floor daily. But even still, like I just feel like with steam, it just brings it to the next level, you know? It's like clean, clean. My toxic trait is I never read instructions. I just go straight to it. So maybe for me, it's like I'm too good for instructions. And then I learned the hard way. <laughs> I just added the water. It says cold water only. Do not add detergents. <laughs> Guilty. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. All right, I'm gonna have a party now. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> I think I prefer this, guys. It comes with like these attachments. If only I knew because I bought not long ago, like a different steamer, like a handheld steamer I can use for my kitchen worktops and everything else. So this is kind of like a two-in-one and it costs like half of the price. I'm about to make lunch and as promised, I am going to share how I make um, my chicken and egg drop soup. I've got a quarter of a large cabbage that's been cut into pieces. I also have a medium carrot that's sliced up and um, about one teaspoon of garlic. But like I said, you can use any vegetables that you wish. Some people might think cabbage, I don't like cabbage. I like cabbage because I like the crunch. I know a lot of people when it comes to egg drop soup, they like to put like sweet corn in it. I'm using chicken. I probably got about 500 grams here. You can use any protein of your choice. It could be beef, it could be, um, it could be vegetarian. Um, it's absolutely up to you. So first step is to fill it with some cold water, about a liter and a half should be good. Honestly, when it comes to how much water you use and how much vegetables, it honestly is up to you. Some people maybe like it more soupy, um, but if you're like me where you want to make it into your lunch and you want to be full, but for myself, I like to make it more like a stew. Adding in my cabbage, adding in my carrots, the garlic. Oh, I forgot to mention, I love spring onions. I know some people like to just put it as garnish, but I don't really like raw spring onion. I actually like the taste of it when it's cooked. So I've got about two spring onions chopped up. I'm gonna add into my soup as well. I'm gonna add my chicken into the pot. About a tablespoon of oil, um, a bit of salt. I'm just gonna go ahead and let it boil. Yeah, the great thing about this recipe is that it's really easy. And if there's any vegetables that I'm using that you don't like, you can just switch and use your own vegetables. So while we're waiting, we have three eggs. You can add a bit more if you'd like. Um, and I just like to add maybe about a tablespoon of water to the egg mix. And I give it a little whisk. About five teaspoons of corn flour. I mean, a lot of times I just eyeball it. I don't know exactly how much I'm putting in. So I've got maybe slowly add and mix. So yeah, I go ahead and take the chicken pieces out. It, ooh, maybe let it cool down a bit longer, but I basically just shred. She smells the chicken. She knows chickens come in her way. Um, I don't like to shred them too much. I shred them, but I don't like to shred it like too much. Just enough where it's like they're good bite-sized pieces. I've got my chicken here and I add it back to the pot. So I just pour it in very slowly while I mix. So the whole point of the corn flour is to thicken up the soup. Add some chicken boulevard powder, a dash of sesame oil, um, a bit of salt, a little bit more chicken powder. 
little bit of white pepper. Mm. Okay, so I'm happy with the flavor. Lastly, make sure the heat is low, very low. Um, slowly pour as you mix. And that's it. <laughs> it's a very proteiny sort of meal. Yeah, I can actually turn the heat off now and just sort of let the egg cook because you don't want to overcook the eggs. I just do the dishes. Of Just a lovely, healthy lunch you can make. Plenty of proteins. Okay, so the dogs are walked. I've steamed the floors upstairs. I've cleaned the bathrooms and it's only noon, guys. It's only noon. Amazing how much you can get done like when there's like no kids. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this vlog and then um, do some reading. And that's gonna be my Friday. Yesterday when the kids went to their daddy, um, Isaac hasn't been feeling that great. It could be the symptoms of him getting his MMR vaccine. You know, you pass a button, but it just feels wrong because, you know, your child isn't feeling that great. This is definitely what I struggle with the most, just feeling the burnout when it's just you. But obviously when they go, there's guilt and you miss them. But at the same time, you know, I've got to do so much today. So um, I'm also thankful for that. It is a time for me to recharge and get things into order. Yeah, over the years, I have tested and tried a, like a bunch of other machines. And I have to say, they don't tend to be as effective as this one. You can't get this machine anymore, guys, because I've tried to get a backup one just in case. I can immediately see improvements. I can see my face is more snatched. I can see the color of my face is better. I told you guys Isaac has been feeling unwell and I do feel like something is brewing. I feel like my skin has sort of like a very green grey undertone. Ah, <sighs> this feels nice. Archie absolutely loves it also when I use this machine on him. He does not a big fan of this. He thinks it feels weird with like the pulsing you know, EMS. But this one he loves and I think it's the heat. And I honestly don't blame him because it's so nice. I love to have it right here on my orbital bone. Yeah, definitely feel more swollen here. It's only been five minutes using it and I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can see like the pinkiness return to my complexion. It's just because it's boosting my circulation. 